Hey guys, Tragic MTG here. Real quick intro for this because I keep overthinking it. I'm just going to go ahead and just do this. Uh, I got this in a storage unit. This was someone that contacted me directly based on someone else knew that I was actually into comic books. One storage unit had comic books in it. Unfortunately, those were uh, really not in good shape. So I passed on those. They said um, they had another full storage unit full of games. Asked me if I was into games. Yep, I am into games. So when we got to that storage unit, it was actually a lot of like computer games, like 90s, you know, Civilization 3, like in for PC, CD-ROM, you know, uh, Windows 98. That stuff's not too exciting. Then they had some Dungeons and Dragons um, books and things. Um, and then I did find a box labeled cards. And so we started digging into that and found uh, there were some magic cards and other collectible card games in there so I ended up buying um, this lot here about seven boxes I paid about 850 bucks for it i um, gonna go through uh, uh, all of it eventually and sell it off but here's the intro uh, there were um, Star Wars collectible card game um, sealed boxes uh, Middle Earth um, Lord of the Rings card games, which when I first saw these, I kind of dismissed them. It was not what I'm really interested in, but actually now doing a little bit of research, they actually are worth a little bit of money. So that's kind of cool. Um, this, when I peeked into it, had those are magic cards and there's, uh, going back to, I think all the way to revised. Um, so Got some work to do there. Um, there's some packs of fourth edition, but they are actually open. And that was kind of the, the bummer when I ran into some of this stuff and found that it was, yeah, revised starter deck, but it's been open. So um, unfortunately it's not worth as much as if it was sealed, of course. Um, maybe there are some sealed packs in there, who knows? Um, yeah, there's stuff in bags and more kind of packs and, Boxes full of cards and things, so um, yeah, more sealed boxes of Star Wars, uh, stuff like that. So, there's definitely some magic going on in there. So, anyway, that's the intro, and I will get into this and hopefully make a big video out of this and um, show you the end result. So, stick around. Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now time for me to start showing this off. Um, uh, I've organized some of this stuff now um, to where I can deal with it. So I'm just gonna show off a little bit of this um, and then we'll get into scanning later. Um, first off here, there were several sealed boxes of other card games. Hopefully you can see that. So you got Star Wars. Um, customizable card game and this is a premier limited uh, box there are currently one two three four of those I've actually already got um, one sold and shipped out for about 400 bucks and another two that are already boxed up so that was uh, six total something like that um, this Lord of the Rings card game when I first um, saw it in the storage unit, wasn't too excited about it, but getting it here and looking it up, some of the um, some of them can actually go for quite a bit. Um, this is, again, limited series, um, back from like 1995. After Magic took off, like all these other card games came out of the woodwork. Some of them did okay, some of them not so much, and this one was kind of somewhere in the middle. Uh, there's a whole case of starter decks of that. Like I have another one of those already listed and boxed up. I'm hoping to get like 700 bucks for it. Um, some of these can be two to 300. Some of these might only be 100. Um, so there's, I think, pretty easy my money back already just in sealed boxes here. The Star Trek, the next generation customizable card game, didn't take off as, as hard. Um, the original owner of this was really into this game. There's quite a few of these um, loose packs um, in a lot of the boxes. These tournament decks are barely sealed anymore. They're kind of barely hanging on there, but I mean, those are um, going to have a little bit of value. Um, 
there was like full box, well, almost full box of packs, and there was just a lot more loose packs, and he had them like wrapped up in like bags. He would individually buy them from like, you know, B. Dalton or whatever. He was a big gamer as well. All right, so. Here's another box with um, some pre-con decks and uh, sealed. These are um, still uh, kind of worth a little bit. Uh, I've seen these go for like 50, 60 bucks. Um, when they're smushed like that, maybe not so much. Um, this one, maybe I'll open it. I don't know if there's any foils in there, but a seventh edition. Uh, Precon deck looks looks small. It doesn't look like a sixty card deck. Got some Nemesis, another smushed one from uh, seventh edition again. More seventh. So we'll see what those go for. Um, here's a Ice Age tournament starter pack that is sort of open, and here's a couple more that are um, sealed. Um, and I've already like boxed up and put away a complete. Um, case of these, there's 10 or 12 of them in there. Um, that one I will sit on for the future as because those will grow. <clears throat> Probably sitting on that's about a thousand bucks. These could be like 80 to 100 bucks each, so that's good. Um, all right, so. All this here is open packs. So the guy that owned the storage unit originally um, would uh, he, he had all this stuff was wrapped up in like individual paper bags and plastic bags. Like he would go to the comic book store and he would buy something like this and he would open it and like put every, put some of it back. I think he was like pulling the rares out. So like when I first saw these revised packs. <clears throat> got really excited you know because sealed they would be like 200 bucks well what had happened is he he bought them like six at a time from like like hobby lobby or hobby bench or something like that and he would like i think he opened it up and like grab the rare uh, if it was a good rare right i like all of the dual lands would be gone because i'll be honest they're in a binder that i'm going to show you later but like he would pull the rare and he would just put back into the pack here, um, the cards, um, for save for a rainy day, um, for me to go through now. So there's a lot of revised packs that I, I'm actually going to go through them all and pull all the dark rituals and if there were any lightning bolts that were left, like stuff like that. Um, I, he did when I peeked in a couple, like he left like a rare pure lace, you know, not an exciting rare then, not an exciting rare now, but it's rare revised. I'll take it. I'll, I'll actually pull all the, the basic lands as well. They're in mint condition, so those kind of add up um, as a lot. At Odyssey, got some some alliances, a lot of fourth edition packs that were open, and then there's a lot of these like Star Trek um, game packs um, that were open. And uh, honestly, there's not much for me to do with those. These packs are are open. Um, so anyway, that's that's gonna be part of the video. I will go through all these open packs and pull them all apart and take what's still salvageable out of this. That brings us to this box here, which is all sealed packs, um, and there's some pretty nice stuff in here. So again, for like first getting into this um, storage unit and finding Middle Earth. Loose packs like this, I didn't have a whole lot of hope, but um, there is a, a somewhat dedicated following to this game, and, and there is a little bit of interest in those kind of packs. I'm going to save this bag for a little bit because um, it's pretty spicy. Um, there's Star more Star Trek, and these are unopened, so those might go for a little bit. Uh, Alliances pack, unopened. I mean, these are like 40 bucks each. There's some Weatherlight, classic 6th edition, more Middle Earth stuff going down at the bottom there. Ice Age, Odyssey, even some Homelands, Tempest, Tempest unopened packs, and there's even some Exodus unopened packs in there, so those are pretty exciting. Alliances and Chronicles, even some Chronicles packs. 
Star Trek. So, and then what, what's in these bags, this, this is often how a lot of this stuff was wrapped up, like in paper bags or plastic bags. And I put these back and I don't, I don't barely know what to do with these, but I know that there's something. Um, unopened packs of Pokemon Team Rocket. And they're sealed. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and probably another six. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So a dozen packs of Pokemon Team Rocket packs. Um, I've seen on eBay the low on these is about 200, the high. Apparently the thing with Pokemon packs is to weigh them and see if they are a third of a gram over, whatever that means, you might get a, a foil. And so then those would be worth like, or 500 bucks so I'm not gonna weigh them I don't care enough to really do all that I'm just gonna kind of sell them as is the like the packages are kind of like smushed a little bit because they've been in this bag for geez 20 years now uh, and they're first edition team rocket packs so that's pretty good uh, anyway so that's what's going on with sealed packs here so um, now we're gonna start getting into actually scanning the loose cards um, there's, it looks like you can put it like in alphabetical order in, in some cases. So it should be kind of interesting. So, um, be back soon.